Hello Internet, welcome to the Nerd Sanctuary, this is Yami, and today I'll be opening a few of the Legion promo packs. These packs are guaranteed to contain 1 out of a possible 12, or 2 out of 12 cards, so 1 out of 6 possible Legion sets. So, let's get into it. Oh, I already know what this is just by the corner of it. It's the, uh, yep, Royal Paladin Legion set, uh, Lightsaber Dragon and Light Blaze Dragon. Let's see if I can focus the camera a little more. There we go. And uh, first Light Blaze Dragon. It's a rear, it has a rear guard effect that when it attacks, when it's attacked, it's a Vanguard. If you have a Vanguard with in its name, choose another unit. It gets plus five thousand power. Uh, Lightsaber. It legions with Light Blaze and. It has an activated skill, counterblast two seekers, and if it's in if this card's in unit, choose three of my units, and they get plus five thousand until the end of the turn, and the ability can only be used once. It also has the ability to choose a card from your hand and discard it when his attack hits a vanguard. Pay the cost if you do. Search your deck for a card seeker in its name, call it to rear guard, and shuffle the deck. It's pretty good. I actually used to run this set in my uh, seeker deck at four. Each, but it I got better cards. So, if you can't afford the better cards, then definitely these are good cards to have. On to number two out of six, and it is the Angel Feather. Looks like <clears throat> the Grade Two Dosage Celestial Osmodi, and her skill is Counter Blast One. Put this unit into your damage zone. When it's attack, it's a vanguard. Pay the cost. If you do, choose a face-up card Not that's not this one from your damage zone and call it to your guard. And then there's Holy Edge Celestial Malky DL. And it legions with Osmodi. And it still is during your turn. If this unit's in Legion, all your units in your front row get plus 2,000. Then if you have a face-up card in your damage zone with the same card name as the unit on your vanguard, which would refer to this or um, the other Dosage Celestial if they're in Legion. But, uh, if a face-up card in your damage zone has the same name, all your units in the front row get another 2,000. It also has a skill that when it attacks a vanguard, if you have another unit in your middle column, it gets a plus 3,000 bonus. Pretty good all around. I've seen some pretty good deck builds with that. Moving on. <clears throat> we have the Murakuma ones. Transformation Stealth Rogue Kuzunoa, whose skill is Soul Blast 1. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, if your vanguard's in Legion, pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your rear guards not named Trans well, this guy. Search your deck for one card of the same name as that unit. Call to rear shuffle your deck, and at the end of the turn, put the unit on the that was called with this effect on the bottom of your deck. Like all the others, this one legions with the grade two I just read. And it's still counter blast one. If this unit is in Legion, choose a unit on your Vanguard. Circle, search your deck for two cards with the same name as that unit, call them to separate rear guard, shuffle your deck, and at the end of the turn. Put the cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. And it's continuous effect. During your turn, if you have a rear guard with the same card name as the unit on Vanguard, this unit gets plus 3,000, 3, yeah. Number 4 out of 6. And we have the Pale Moon. The Grade 2 Barking Sky Tiger, Rear Guard Effect. When one of your other units is placed on Rear Guard from your soul, if your Vanguard's in Legion, this unit gets plus 3,000. And the Grade 3 Cracking Beast Tamer, Legions with Sky Tiger, and when this unit is in Legion, or no, when, when it goes into Legion, Counter Blast 2, if you do, Soul Blast 2, or not it's a Soul Charge, Soul Charge 2. Choose three cards from your soul, call them separate rear guards. And it has another effect that is when one of your units is placed on rear guard from your soul, this unit gets plus 3,000. 
have and get some of the uh, Metatroni ones to learn. Well, Speed of the Devil, I got Metatroni. I'm pretty sure someone told me that these are the most expensive to get. I don't know why, but... The Grade 2 Machine Hornet Mark II. When it's placed on Rear Guard, if your Vanguard is in Legion, choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards, and it can't stand during the opponent's next turn. Machine Tarantula Mark II. It has the skill. When this unit's drive check reveals a card the same name as the unit on your Vanguard Circle. If this unit is in Legion, you may counterblast one. If you do, choose all your opponent's Vanguards. And those units cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. It also has a Soul Blast 2 card with a machine in its name. And choose one of your opponent's rear guards. And that unit cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. On to the very last booster. And it is the uh, uh, Great Nature. Illusion Scientist Researcher Fox. And... Uh, during your end phase, when, these units, when this unit is put in the drop zone from rear guard, if your vanguard's in legion, counter blast one. If you do, choose one of your units on vanguard, search your deck for one card with the same name, reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Then we have Magic Scientist Tester Fox. It has the ability during your end phase, when, your, when one of your rear guards is put in the drop zone, if this unit is in legion, choose a card from your damage zone, turn it face up, then if the unit put in your drop zone has the same na card name as the unit on your vanguard, draw a card, choose up to two cards from your drop zone, and put them on the bottom of the deck in any order. It also has the ability that when it attacks a vanguard, choose one of your rear guards, and you may have that card gain plus 4,000 until the end of the turn. And if you do, at the end of the turn, retire that card. That's all sits I was given, and I might have actually... Yeah. I was able to pull all six Legion sets in this one video, so that's a pretty amazing thing to do, actually. Oh, this is Vinyami from the Nerd Sanctuary. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and maybe check out some of the other videos we've done. I have two people handling Yu-Gi-Oh! every now and then. It's supposed to be, like, they each put out one video a week, but they slash sometimes, but... We have Yu-Gi-Oh, we have Vanguard, maybe even some random stuff coming. Who knows? Uh, I'll see you guys later.